guys? Welcome back for the next episode of Ninth Down 3. We're back. Okay. Uh, I think I gotta go all the way to the right. So let's see if we can do that. We did hit a switch. Which did open this. Okay, good. We're on the way, folks. We're on the way. Fierce vampire. You're dead. Hollow curse crown. Magic armor. 189 physical defense. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, actually. Um, we might want to wear a magic piece of armor just to uh, level that up so we can wear that. What are we at? We're at 12. Oh, it's going to be a bit gonna be a bit, but okay, we'll wear that for now. Take some damage. Level that up. Just take some free hits, man. Take your, take your hits where you can get them. Now's your chance. Much. Ooh, new cape. I haven't seen a new cape in ages. Very nice. We can actually give Balsa our old cape. Because I just haven't found any, and I haven't really done anything as far as like crafting uh, cloth armor, so sense that I haven't uh, had anything else to give out. Where the hell is it? There it is. Alright, this can go right here. Nice. Sweet. Now I've got a cool little dark cape. Oh, two ability coins. Very nice. any other magic armor something to level up that skill a bit faster don't think so and no I'll just go with the no that's not even dealing damage to me anymore See if maybe you could level up your armor using traps, but sadly, I don't think that's the case. These traps aren't even hurting me. It's weird. The game knows. The game's like, I bet he's trying to cheat. No, oh, game, I swear. No, oh, baby, I ain't, I ain't like that. I suppose if I really wanted to test out uh, wearing the magic armor and getting experience. Yeah, this isn't even going up. Like, what? Uh, taking magical damage whilst wearing magic armor. Got it. Got it. Okay. Helps if you read the skills. Definitely helps if you read the skills. 
just a little bit of magic damage. Yeah, that's that is not a lot. Alright, well, I guess we'll just level it up as we go. Magic armor. Some more magic armor. Ooh. That's a lot of damage. Great bone axe. Very nice. Uh, two handed stuff we're going to give to Balsa. There's that. Okay, what's all that other magic crap I picked up? That's, that's a lot of defense. That we're gonna lose out on by wearing this dress. <laughs> That's fine, I suppose. Look at us, we're pretty, pretty princesses. Alright. Means we're gonna have to be doubly sure of staying on top of certain things. Okay, so what is this gonna do? Oh, nice. That's 100%. There's gotta be something up here, right? There's gotta be. Yeah. Amulet of strength. Physical attack. That can go to Balsa. Nice. Don't have to spend the time crafting the sturdy ones. Great Axe skill is not nearly high enough for that. But it's definitely time for uh, an upgrade. Nice. Yeah, I think uh, next time we're in town, we're going to have to craft some more uh, more equipment for Balsa. Get her started on Great Axe, because that is a pretty decent amount of damage that we are missing out on. Speaking of returning to town, we're back. Back to the first town. Cool. Okay. Okay, there's Voondil Pass. I already did the crypt. Crypt is 100%. Okay, cool. Yeah, that was, uh, Relatively painless. Only took us a few more minutes to get out of the dungeon. Uh, we're going to travel up to uh, for Loon again, and we're going to get started on making some great axes for uh, Balsa. Because we definitely want her to wear that new one we got. So we got to do some leveling. Alright. Da, 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 da. Here's the two-handed axes. Here we go. Uh, you're gonna need, I don't know, just take one of these. Can I even make one? I don't even think I have enough, uh, stuff. Who do I have? Got medium ingots, but I don't have any small ones. Are you kidding me right now? Ugh. First world problems, am I right, everybody? Can't even make a gold one. Alright, guess we're gonna get a little bit of mining done. No big deal. Don't need a whole lot. 83% to craft the dang thing. That's probably more than enough.
Shouldn't take us too long to get this leveled up, I don't think. Uh, we will... First off, open this. Yeah, give me the strength scroll. So you can just chill there for a little bit. I'm gonna go and do some stuff. Hit a wall over here. That far off, actually. That's good. I'm just gonna run into the goblin area and see what we can do. There's a lot of monsters that spawn there, and I always need more goblin blood, so it's not a bad idea. This is where I like to go to train up my uh, my weapon skills, because you end up needing a lot of the materials anyway, so you might as well. Uh, oh, okay, that's what that looks like. It's okay, I guess. That was the uh, weapon art, if you were not familiar. And we're up to 16. We're going to see a big jump in power as soon as, uh, <laughs> as soon as we get there. Like a big jump. Like this will be the most powerful weapon that uh, Balsa's has ever used. Going that little little bitty way got me a, just a few levels, so should be relatively quick. What was it? Skill level 27 to use it? 27. Okay, yeah, we'll get that in no time. We'll get that in no time. Let's go go to where all the goblins are. My, uh, my circuit for uh, getting goblin blood is actually uh, this way. I'll show you. I'll show you where it is. This is the way that I go for goblin blood. So I start here, or on the other side. It all depends. Um, and then I just uh, move this way. Getting everybody's attention where I can. faster if you use your, uh, your creatures, obviously. Yeah, you can normally get at least a, at least a few. Uh, that weapon art skill isn't necessarily great for damage, but it's good for aggro. It gets everybody's attention. So yeah, I just like to go up this stair, immediately go back down, and all the enemies are back. And then you get everybody all together again, and kill everybody all over again. Again, it's much faster if you have creatures and pets and stuff.
Okay. We are almost there. 24 now. Faster just to leave here, get rid of that big group, and then uh, and then just run back here. Surely we're there. Yes. Okay. Now we can see the big old damage jump. This is going to be obscene. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good old 9,000, 10,000 damage. You love to see it. We've almost doubled our damage from when we were using that greatsword. That is perfect. It's goddamn perfect. And the damage on that scales with our weapon damage. You absolutely love to see it. Almost wiped him out. Hell yeah. Aw, oh, yeah. I'm just getting goblin blood. 13. That is not enough. We're going to need like 50 to even possibly make one decoration. Like, seriously. It's a damn shame how long it takes. I'm sure it'll be changed. It used to be that you could only get uh, goblin blood from uh, the mages. And that was actually changed. You know, these guys right here. You know, that, that fool that I just blindsided. I suppose since we uh, went through the trouble of doing all that, we could actually have Zans come back out. Easy. 
only thing that kind of sucks is uh, when I'm controlling Zans, uh, we got to remember to drop all the goblin blood that we get off so that uh, Balsa can gather it. <coughs> oh well, not that big a deal. These regular goblins have like a 3% chance of uh, dropping goblin blood. Not, not great chances. Not great chances, but if you look at the grand scheme of it, um, we do have like five times the chance that we originally had. Because every goblin now drops them as opposed to just one. A lot of goblin eyes. I think you can use those to make potions. I think so. Yep, there's Lord Soth running in with that 12k damage. I think we'd be getting a lot more uh, goblin blood, just considering the fact that uh, <clears throat> we're murdering tens of thousands of them. But it's not that easy, I suppose. A lot of raw meat, too. All this goblin meat. So, do you guys know what uh, loyalty is used for on your creature stats? Is that like determining how often they use their abilities maybe, or the rate of experience gain? Because monsters start off, I'm pretty sure, with 0% loyalty, and then it builds up to 100%. Just curious. I mean, I haven't seen my monsters not attacking at any point, so I don't know if it has to do with that, but if you guys have any idea, let me know. So I would like to know. So nothing was addressed in the patch uh, in regard to how often your AI companion uses magic, mostly healing in this case. Uh, because Zans, he never runs out of MP when it's the computer playing him. I don't know what it is. Uh, it seems like the patch might have fixed uh, all your MP disappearing though, because that is not the case. I don't know. Probably won't do this too much longer, I don't imagine. Because uh, I'm sure this isn't very entertaining to watch. It's literally a slaughter. 
But yeah, this is mostly what I do when I'm off camera. Just this kind of stuff. Farming and very repetitive tasks. So, you guys aren't missing a whole lot, uh, but sometimes I will go through, like, stints where I craft a bunch of stuff. Um, but, again, I I don't think that's what you guys necessarily want to see. Because, um, let's be honest, it's kind of boring watching someone do the exact same things over and over and over again. But, hey. That's why people play, uh, that's why, uh... That's why people play golf, right? To watch the exact same thing over and over again? Checks out, right? Just offended all the golfers in my audience. How dare you! Golf is a highly nuanced game that brings about the, the most intellectually fierce battles known to the, the history of sports. Um, and I'm just sitting here like, uh, you know, a little ball goes burr. I don't know, same thing with baseball find baseball to be incredibly boring. All it is is just watching people run around and swing a stick. But, uh, I guess if you get needlessly reductive in anything, then it kind of defeats the purpose of doing anything at all. I mean, video games is just literally pushing the same buttons over and over again if you want to get that, uh, that into it. Technically, it's the truth. Nobody wants to admit it, but it's the truth. Well, that was a good haul of uh, blood there. Getting a few levels for our guys, too, so it's not too bad. Not bad. Where are we at now? 57. It's not that bad. I did say earlier that uh, we would need at least 50. Not just the men, but the women and the children. I killed all the goblins. <laughs> all right. I think that's going to do it as far as this little loop is concerned. We'll do one more pass through and then uh, then we'll head over try to make some uh, some jewelry. What do you guys think about that? Think that's a good idea? I think you guys are done seeing me uh, murder all these goblins. I think you guys are done. here and did what I wanted to do. Got some, uh, got some experience for my giant axe. It's not bad. But yeah, that's, uh, that's the little route that I like to take to, uh, level up weapons and do all that, because there's just, there's so many of these dang goblins. It's gonna be a long time till I can use a morph stone though, I'll tell you that much. Could do some cooking. Wow. Anybody else wonder why there's just so many crabs hanging out in that one particular spot? Me neither. Hmm. 
Okay, so we're gonna need some some of this. We can attempt to make six. Uh, do I have any catalysts or anything? It still says cooking. Pretty sure that that this is uh, alchemy only and not this thing. Try one at a time. Six of them, actually. Um, I didn't get anything else, really. I suppose one thing I could do is take all my rings and stuff that, uh, that Zanz is wearing and uh, transfer them. Now let's see if that worked. Yeah. Better than it was before, I suppose. Let's see if it even matters. That's all we can do. Dang. Like a half hour of killing goblins and all I got was four of these damn things. Not great. we should be able to do for now. Alright. That should give us a pretty significant increase to our damage. Yeah. Pretty significant. 743. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Um, 
That should do wonders for the damage output. It's all right. We're not hitting over a thousand like I thought we would, but eh, whatever. Still better than what we were doing before. What were we hitting before? Five, six hundred? I'll take a two hundred damage increase. It's not too bad. All right. So yeah, we still got a lot of stuff to do. A lot of stuff. Um, I might go to Tull's Dune Cave for the next episode, but, uh, yeah. I think that that's gonna do it as far as what we've- oh yeah, no, I needed to buy more, uh, buy more stuff. Where's the travel guy at? Let's go do that real quick. Need more stuff. Oh, it's super late. down to 300,000 gold now, but we do have a lot of traps and stuff, so that's good. Very good. Right, well, that is going to do it for that episode. If you guys liked it, feel free to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, so on and so forth. I will catch you later. Bye-bye.